Next question comes from Mark, who is 46 in Toronto. Toronto is where my wife is from, coincidentally. I may have walked past you in the street once, Mark. Who knows? Probably not. It's a big city. Mark says, hey, so I'm trying to eat more protein because when I looked at how much I was having, it was about 60 grams a day. And I read that I need one pound per gram of body weight to build muscle. How can I get that much into me each day, though? Should I just drink a ton of protein shakes? Thanks for the question, Mark. So, yes, 60 grams is fairly low. That's probably a bit too low, even for muscle retention at our age. And if you're doing any training, so you're not going to get much out of your weight training if your protein intake is that low. So let's look at ways to increase that. Protein shakes are helpful, but you don't necessarily want to go down the road of only eating 60 grams of uh, proper food for your protein and then having to shovel three or four protein shakes down your throat on a daily basis. That's not sustainable and that gets very expensive very quickly. So it's interesting that you mentioned the one ground per pound of body weight figure. You'll see that getting kind of thrown around online. That's true, but that refers to lean body mass. And so that means if there's absolutely no body fat on you, that is the weight that you're looking for to get a gram per pound of. And so most guys, I suppose, if you got rid of all your body fat, are probably going to be around the one, between 120 and 160 pounds, unless you're really tall. So that's the kind of thing you should be aiming for. Let's say 140 grams of protein per day is the ideal thing to shoot for in order to retain muscle, build muscle if you want, but also to feed full because protein is much more filling than carbohydrates. So we can split this up. Let's have, say you're having three meals per day. So 30 grams of protein is three eggs. 30 grams of protein is a scoop of protein powder. 30 grams of protein is about 100 grams, say a kind of palm-sized portion of any meat. So you can start getting an idea about the types of foods you need to be having on a daily basis to hit that target. But also don't stress about that target. As long as you're getting... Over 100 grams a day, you'll be fine. But if you can be aiming for over that towards the 140 grams per day, I think you'll do a whole lot better. So breakfast, like I said, eggs, lunch, making sure you have a lump of protein. So we're already at 60 grams by the time we get to lunch. If you have a protein shake after your training, that's another 30 grams. We're up to 90. Then you come to dinner. And if you have a couple of big lumps of meat on your dinner plate, lo and behold, we're up to 140. So it's making sure that there's a protein element in all of your meals and by all means throwing in a protein shake. Just one is probably enough per day rather than relying on supplements. So don't stress about hitting the 140 every day, but just have it in your head, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I need to be having a big lump of protein somewhere. You can submit questions to me and you will get them answered on a future episode of this video and podcast. Getting you on track to getting fitter, slimmer, healthier, happier and handsomer as we get older. Take care.